எப்படி இருக்கீங்க லவ்லி ஐ ரியலி மிஸ் சென்னை யூனோ வி ஹவ் நாட் பிளேட் ஹியோ ஃபார் அ லாங் டைம் நவ் டு ஸ்டார்ட் ஆஃப் கங்க்ராச்சுலேஷன்ஸ் ஆன் வினிங் த சாம்பியன்ஸ் லீக் யூ நோ ஆஃப்டர் ஃபியூ இயர்ஸ் வி ஹவ் ஒன் தட் ஸோ இட்ஸ் குட் டு பி பேக் ஹியர் அண்ட் கன்வே த விஷஸ் பர்ஸ்னலி அண்ட் uh as far as this association is concerned you know almost everyone in india knows i started off as a footballer i was a goalkeeper and then i shifted on to cricket you know because uh we didn't have a wicket keeper in our school so uh this was one final opportunity to, to get associated with football and, and i'm glad i'm part of you know the chennai football uh club uh, the reason being you know i've played 7 years of franchise cricket from this franchise and basically love the people out here and i think you know mrs dani you will also just love the support that the people give over here and um, again the the main motive is not only to win championship win trophies uh, i think a lot of emphasis will be on to develop the talent you know already the players who are uh, under the under the talent of some of the established international footballers and at the same time what we feel is very important is uh, developing the grassroots level because i feel that's where to some extent we are lacking you know uh, football it was a very popular sport in india in between it lost a bit but still in pockets what we feel is it's still followed and and also the awareness you know now when you talk to the younger generation they talk a lot about epl the spanish league and all the different champions league and everything so uh the awareness is there and i think this platform will give them an opportunity to to know more about the youngsters that we have got the experienced indian players who will be playing in the arena so overall it will be a win win situation for everyone and i'm hoping that it becomes a big success all the big people in india they have associated or given their support to this cause you know all the celebrities some of the cricketers all the big uh, media houses families i feel now what's important will need the support of the common man of india you know to come and to see the see the players perform on the pitch because you know that's what the player really wants you know apart from everything else they want to perform in front of a full house so that's what will be needed from all of you you know pick the soccer up put uh, pick the football up and we'll have an interesting you know couple of months forward you know some of the best players performing and some of the best youngsters that we have got you know as indian players will be playing under them and will playing along them thank you football is the way of the future in future why not i i believe uh, you know every sport uh, especially i i want every sport to do well in india you know it doesn't really matter what sport it is you know whether it's cricket hockey football athletics track and track and field events are big because what it also does is you know it encourages a lot of youngsters to go on to the field now you talk to a lot of these youngsters when they come to us and we talk okay do you play anything most of them reply yes and like, what fifa they don't mean they go on to the field and play you know they are playing on playstation on television and everything so you know that's where the general if you see the health of the whole economy you know you don't want youngsters to play fifa you want them to go and play soccer you want them to go and play cricket because that in turn helps the uh, health of the people and also what it teaches you is you know there's no sportsman when he competes he likes to lose everybody wants to win so it gives you that instinct of you know giving in your 100% and looking to win and if you still lose the game you accept that and you see what the shortcomings are so there are a lot of learnings you know that you learn out of sport studies yes it is very important but with time management i felt you can do both well the the team composition is great uh, you know i'll have to do a bit more of homework uh, but still if you see when when we talk about any sport you know especially when it comes to a team sport uh, a team has its own strength and what i feel is our strength will be the the defenders you know they are the ones uh, you know that will give the kind of support you know uh, that's really needed but uh, defenders are other ones you know who are really unbeatable when it comes to the ball going in the air so they'll be the ones who will also be score for us but apart from that i think we have got a very well balanced side you know we've got experience and uh, the young players so uh, what i feel is you know it looks like a very balanced side but more than that what will be important is like we have seen in in football all over the world it will be the team that gels up really well will be the team that will win because uh, what we have seen is you know 
actually the clubs they play better football than you know the teams when they represent their country because as clubs they spend a lot of time together and you know you understand each and every player so that will be the uh, you can say a major challenge for all the players to know it need know each other uh, not only the strength you have to know the weaknesses of your colleagues and at the same time you don't always have to call and give a pass you know there are certain when it comes to sport it's just the you know the eye contact and the player gets going so you'll have to know each individual very carefully and i'll i'll feel you know that will be a uh, the biggest uh, challenge as such you know because once the dressing room atmosphere is good and once you know each and every individual whoever your colleagues are it becomes slightly easy to perform so the the team that will eventually win will be the one which has the best dressing room atmosphere and where the individuals understand each other really well dhoni yes this Nothing is a yet. cricket crazy country and uh, what would be your appeal to the people of this country because this is something new football is something new and this experiment is totally new so what would be your appeal for the people of this country who have spent a lot of time in only promoting cricket or watching cricket and liking cricket and loving cricket so it has to come from you so well, what would be your message you are definitely part of them you know who has only liked <laughs> cricket and only promoted cricket because in in our cricket team okay you're talking about cricket let's talk about the indian cricket team you know we fight about usually we fight about you know where our team stands in the epl you know we we also follow the spanish league and all but most of our teammates you know we we follow epl and we constantly keep fighting you know they more of us are manu supporters i don't there will be few international players who will call us glory hunters but uh, at the same time you know uh, we we just love our club uh, not to the extent we had our fielding coach uh, who was a liverpool supporter so when he comes for breakfast if he's smiling you know manu has lost the game it's not liverpool who has won the game you know so uh, that's a kind of rivalry that's there uh, you know i think four or five years back we started football as our warm up game though we were criticized heavily for that because they thought it was a very injury prone game and everything but it's something that really switches us on you know apart from having the passion for cricket all of us have that love for football so you know what i would love the people to do is to go to the stadium watch football see how interesting it is see how different it is and also at the same time it's it's something that everybody can play you know even you can play even i can play and have fun with it so a lot of uh, you know responsibility the media will have to take a lot of responsibility in promoting it you know what exactly is happening how it's happening and what are the challenges and everything so we'll have to keep an open mind but at the same time we'll need the support of the common people yes they are you know when you play in salt lake stadium you get 80000 people watching the game so we we want a similar kind of response all over the country you know wherever the teams are playing you want a good response because as players what you only want is a full house you know it's it's just a different atmosphere and i feel you'll get good response from the people all right one last you. question i just I got one I question please doni first you were the chennai super kings you became the star of that now we are a part of chennai uh, fc as well is it something like you're adopting chennai or chennai is adopting you <laughs> well i just love 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 the fact that you know like when when the first ipl team was made i i was not sure where i would go so i got selected for uh, csk and for the last 7 years i have been here uh, last year we didn't play here and and frankly speaking you know we actually missed that you know we stay in this hotel for like uh, you know literally 35 to 40 days you know at a stretch apart from traveling elsewhere and we just love the culture out here it's slightly different uh, but at the same time you know the people they they just love sports over here i, I still remember when sachin comes out to bat uh, when he was playing when he used to come out to bat you know he used to get the same kind of response that maybe i would get or suresh raina would get you know so the people over here are slightly different they love their sport yes they they want csk to win they want csk players to do well but at the same time the opposition is playing well they'll also clap for them so it's it's slightly different scenario out here but i'm glad you know i was selected for csk and the kind of love and affection you know that the people have shown towards me you know i'm just blessed that's what i'll have to say well it should be there's no good reason uh, as i said you know uh, all the all the big players you know they have associated themselves uh, when it comes to the celebrities they are here mg reliance is involved star is the uh, one who will be broadcasting it uh, all the media is really excited uh, i think you know what we really need is the support of the common man you know for them to 
you know, going to the stadium to witness uh, the occasion. So, you know, that's what is really needed, and I don't see any good reason why, you know, it can't be as successful as cricket. Uh, uh, I would like to ask uh, that what, what would your advice be to the Indian players who are going to be associated with the foreigners, given, uh, you know, you've seen the same kind of mix at CSK, where the Indians, it was new at for them, at, you know, at that time to be associated with foreigners. So what would you say to the Indian players who are going to be working with the foreign players here at uh, Chennai? And Somebody messaged you the question, or <laughs> no? I was I was uh, <laughs> noting it down so that I don't fumble. No, uh, if you see, the sport is different, but the format is quite similar. Uh, as is the case when it comes to the composition. You know, the uh, only thing with uh, you know football is uh, there's more changes. You know, more substitutes can play in the same game. That's not the case with cricket. Uh, but at the same time, like, uh, you know, when initially CSK was formed and when we had these foreign players come in, at times you don't realize, you know, what really that foreign player is. You know, you see them on television, so you have a different aura about them. But at the end of, them, at, at the, end of the day, you know, all of us are humans. We have our strengths, we have our weaknesses. And what it really helped us in the way was, you know, we, we started understanding different cultures. You know, initially I thought Australians are too aggressive. But then you get to know them. You you thought, you know, I personally thought Matthew Hiddem was very very aggressive on the field. Then I realized, you know, he was really a fun person to be with. He was a team man, and his preference was the team. So you get to know about each other. You get to know more about the culture, the uh, places the the players come from, and it will be the same case, you know, over here. And uh, the most important thing will be, you know, for our youngsters to look up to the international players, you know, who will be. Uh, coming from different parts of the world. And also, they play different type of football. You know, Spain plays a different kind of football. France plays different type of football. So everyone will bring in, you know, that recipe into the menu. And what's important for them is to learn as much as possible. And I feel what will be a big change will be, you'll see these youngsters, you know, putting in a lot more effort on fitness because, you know, football has changed now. Apart from being a very skillful sport, you have to be extraordinarily fit. And that's what, you know, that's how the game have actually changed. If you compare it to hockey, you know, in the 80s when hockey was played, it was more of a skillful game, you know, played on grass. But when it shifted to AstroTurf, it became more of a physical game. And then if you have the skill in you, you know, you can really go ahead of the, of the competition. So I think it, it's, a, it's a good ground for all the youngsters to look up to these senior players or international legends of the game and learn you know, how much they need to do, what they have to sacrifice, because it's a very physical sport. It's not like cricket, you know, we run two runs and we are sitting, okay, the bowler is getting ready. If he's not ready, we start tying the shoelaces, you know, you, you gather your breath back and you're ready for the next single or double. In this case, it's very different. Um, you know, it's a very fast-paced game now. And when it comes to fitness, you have to be at your, at your best, because then only you can execute whatever you want to, you know, when it comes to the skill part. Tony? You're still yeah. active in cricket, and now do you think managing cricket and football could be a huge challenge for you? How do you ensure that cricket doesn't lose out the best from you? Cricket is my first preference. Uh, the reason being, you know, I'm representing my country, and that's the biggest thing for me. You know, so whatever comes next will be after cricket, and still we get some time off in between. I would love to spend some time with the team. You know, maybe have a few sessions with the team. You know. I can play a bit of football, not like them, but still I can wear boots and stand at a corner uh, thinking I'll get some time. But uh, uh, I think, uh, you know, the main emphasis will be uh, not on the pitch. You know, if I get some time off, I would like to spend some time when they are training. I, I will learn a lot from them. And at the same time, I can share my experience, uh, especially with the youngsters, because pressure is something, you know, irrespective of the sport. You know, it's, it's, it's almost the same. You know, the demands are the same. And... Uh, the kind of reaction uh, or the kind of response that an individual makes under pressure is quite the same, you know, irrespective of the sport you play. So, you know, it will be a genuine interaction between me and them, and, you know, I can, I can learn a lot, you know, and at the same time, I can share my experience with them. Uh, which team do you think, I mean, apart from Chennai, uh, is the most tough team? In your no, mind? as I said, you know, it's a new format. Uh, it's the first time when... All these players are coming together. You know, a lot of them have not played together. So the key will be, you know, how well you gel as a team. It doesn't matter how much talent you have. Paper talent is secondary. What's important is how you execute with the kind of resources that you have got. 
and how much you understand each other. So the team that will win or that will play consistent football will be the one who gels up really well under good leadership. We'll take the last Thank question, you. gentlemen, back, please. Uh, 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 we'll, we'll do one more for that, yeah. Well, as of now, we are not thinking about money. You know, uh, I wanted to get associated with football. The reason being, I started off as a footballer. Uh, I couldn't make it that big and shifted on to cricket. Um, but at the same time, you know, it is my first love. At the end of the day, I feel you know, it's 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 quite a glamorous sport. You know, if you are talented, if you are skillful, if you are fit, you know, there's no one really that can actually stop you. If you are a good defender, and if you are the world's best defender, you know, the best forward will find it difficult to go through you which is not the case you know when it comes to cricket a, a lot is uh, you know comes to the situation the condition and all of that so it's a very glamorous sport and to me it was you know i wanted to get associated with it i was fortunate uh, that i get associated with the chennai team you know i played 7 years of ipl from this place i know the people really well you know i i, I know the kind of fan following uh, that they have got for for players who represent their franchises so you know, I'm just fortunate that you know I got to pick the side that I really wanted to be associated with. Uh, but overall, the main emphasis will be to develop football in India, you know, so that the youngsters they come up and you know they put in more effort to become good football players. <laughs>